Hey everyone, Tracy here and I am going live to share what I use on my skin. So this has been a topic that I've talked about a few times um, in the past, but I have promised you a little secret that I've been using lately ever since convention. And, uh, and anyway, you might have already guessed which oil it is, but I'll get to it. So a couple of things I use and have been using for a little while. Now I'm 45 and a half. Um, and I don't think I'm doing too bad. The lighting in here is terrible, but um, I don't think I'm doing too bad for 45. Um, I've got a few little dark circles, although the lighting's really bad. And I, you know, but I don't have a lot of heaps of deep crevice wrinkles or anything like that. Now, a couple of disclosures. I do get a facial once a month and I have been doing that for about a year and a half. Um, it's not every single month, but it's most months. So I do do that, get a professional facial, which I think is important if you can afford that. Um, they do different things that I can't do at home. Um, and I go to a very organic place, which is great too. Uh, and the rest of the stuff I use at home. So a couple of things that I've been doing recently, which I think has made a massive difference to my skin, is taking a high dose vitamin C. So I started doing this at the beginning of this year when all sorts of things were happening and uh, to more for my body and my health, but I have noticed that my skin has improved. So I do know that vitamin C is amazing on our skin and Kakadu Plum, which is in this version, which is the heal version uh, because it's all organic and it's all uh, powders. So there's nothing synthetic in this, which um, as you would know, being additive free, that I do not want synthetic ingredients inside my body, let alone on top of my skin. So this is uh, Kakadu Plum, Camu Camu Powder, a um, couple of ones that I can't pronounce. Uh, and yeah, but it's a high dose vitamin C. So vitamin C is amazing for our skin um, and you can buy it in, like it comes in serums and things as well. So um, you can do that, but taking the capsule, is amazing. So um, anyway, that's the Heal brand, like I said, and you can get that from, I get it from Jevity. I think it's called Jevity. But anyway, just Google it, H-E-A-L, uh, high dose vitamin C, and I'm sure it'll come up for you guys. Um, so that's the one thing. The other thing I've been taking for a couple of years is the Lifelong Vitality. So this is doTERRA's supplement program. I've been taking this now for a few years and I know this has made a difference to my skin and my overall health. Um, so I uh, have been to a naturopath and I have been to a holistic nutritionist and they both gave this the tick of approval. Um, so they wanted to put me on supplements and I asked them, look, I can get access to this. So if I can take this, that would be better for me and my budget. Um, but I will take yours if this is no good. And they both checked them out and uh, both came back to me. And this was about a year apart from each other. And both came back to me and said these are completely great and to keep taking these. And so that was what I did. And I still do. So what I do is I actually have them in a little um, a tackle box or a little craft storage box. And these are the supplements that I take. So I don't take all of these every day. So don't have a freak out. Um, what I do, so here's my high dose vitamin C. And I've kind of probably need to rewrite it. But we know that that's the vitamin C corner. And then these ones are all exactly the same. So it's just that the whole bottle doesn't fit in one little slot. So um, And these don't pull out. So I have to separate them like that. So these are the Lifelong Vitality 3, and you take two of each in the morning and two again of each at night, and both me and my husband do that, and we both take the vitamin C. Um, every now and then I'll take some Terrazyme, which is an enzyme which helps uh, my digestive system, and it helps me process food down. So if I've eaten something that isn't great, I don't want those um, sitting in my body, and I want to flush my body out of the toxins that it might be holding on to. So I will take some Terrazyme to help my body flush out any toxins and to help it process and break down the food. If you've got food sitting in your tummy, it's not breaking down properly, that can cause skin issues as well because it's not, it's not you're not processing, processing your food properly. Um, I am missing turmeric, so I'm, I've got to get back onto that. Um, it's just out of stock. And the others, I've got a probiotic that I also take, which is a doTERRA probiotic as well. 
So if I can buy it from doTERRA, I do, because I trust that their quality is really fantastic. Um, so I always take my supplements. So that's the other thing. So they're the two main supplements that I take, and I have a couple of others that sit alongside that. But they're the main ones, and massive difference to my skin and the overall health. Okay, so the next part is I uh, do an oil cleanse. So when I have got a face full of makeup, which is most days, I wear makeup and I'll talk about my skincare, the makeup that I brand I use as well, because that is important to your skin health. Um, so, but by my cleansing, moisturizing routine, I use Yarrow Palm. Now you can buy this from your American warehouse in if you have a doTERRA account. And uh, I use this to oil cleanse. So oil cleansing will remove the excess oil from your skin. So don't think that you're going to be left with a really oily face, you're not. Um, the other important area of your body are your hands. We often forget to moisturize our hands. And this is a brilliant moisturizer for your hands, well, it's for your whole entire body, but I love it to oil cleanse. Um, so this gets rid of all your makeup, including your eye makeup, um, if you wear eyeliner and mascara, this will get that off. And then what you want to do is just cleanse over the top. Now, I don't do the oil cleanse every single day, but I do do it a couple of times a week. So ask questions if you want to as well, guys, um, a couple of times a week. Um, but every single day I do cleanse and wash my face. And this is really important. Um, never use a soap. Now I'm a beauty therapist by background, so I know this stuff. Okay, this is my jam. I trained in this. I've got a degree. It's all good. Um, so don't use soap on your face, like a cake of soap, um, anything that's soap based. You want to be using a product that is made to cleanse your skin and not dry it out. Soap is incredibly drying and it will give you that real, um, cakey, like, look, um, just dry look. So oil cleanse is amazing. Getting rid of makeup, excess oil if you have an oily complexion, um, but definitely cleansing every single day. So this is the one I use. It's the Virage range. Um, you guys have heard us talk about this before. I love the Virage range because it comes in a system. It's really easy to follow. So if you're brand new to using skincare or you've got uh, teenage daughters that are starting to use skincare, this is this is suitable for, for even younger kids. Like it's fine. There's nothing in here that's really harsh and it's not made to um, support like a super old person. Uh, so <laughs> if you know what I mean. So if you've got younger teenagers, you know, 13, 14, even 11, I would, I would recommend the Virage system. The only one that you may want to avoid for younger kids is the serum. So you can buy them all individually, but mum, you use the serum, take that one away from the younger kids, but from teenagers onwards, the serum would be fine. I just don't think it's needed. It wouldn't hurt a younger child. There's nothing damaging in there. It's just not needed on younger kids. They just don't need all that extra support. So talking about me, I use Virage to cleanse my face. So I do that every single night without fail. I don't care. And I've done that from the day I learned about beauty therapy. Uh, if I'd been out on the town, um, it didn't matter how late at night it is, I wash my makeup off. Never leave your makeup on overnight. Really important. If you are someone who does that, stop doing it immediately. Your face will age every single night three times more than it would if you wash your makeup off. Now you're going to stop wearing makeup to bed. All right. So your face will age an extra three days every single night if you wear your makeup to bed, um, which is not ideal. Add that up over the course of a year. We do not want that happening. Wash your face every night. Men can use this as well. If you've got teenage boys that are worried about acne uh, or you've got a hubby that needs to wash their face at night, which should be doing as well. Every single person should be washing their face at night, boys and girls included. So wash your face. The next step that I use is the toner. And this is really important too. A lot of people skip this step and it's literally just a couple of sprays into your hand and pat that over your face. I've already done it this morning, so I don't need to do it again, but you just pat that over your face. Simple, like it takes a second to do. So don't skip that step because so many people skip the step of toning their face. What a toner does is once you've washed your face with a cleanser, 
you will instantly start to dry out and you'll feel that. You'll feel like your face is still feeling a bit dry. You need to get moisture onto your face as quick as possible. And the quickest way is really quickly with a toner. Um, it also settles down your skin really fast. And the oil, the products in this one and including the essential oils that are in here are really great at calming any redness. So sometimes when you've washed your face and you've um, given it a bit of, a, or even if you've done a facial scrub, which I will cover as well, then you want to tone your face as quickly as possible and cool that down and soothe that down. But this toner is actually really great at using as a little bit of a hairspray as well. Like you can just spray a little bit into your hands and kind of just give your hair a little bit of a, um, if you've got lots of flyaways. So that's really cool as a little, little hack on the hairspray, on the uh, toner front. All right, can you cleanse and tone in the shower at night? Yes, absolutely. Probably not tone, but you can definitely cleanse your skin in the shower, wash your face in the shower at night, absolutely. Then I jump out and I quickly check, grab the toner and pop that on once I've dried myself down. Um, all right, next step after the toner, and I generally do these three together because it's fine to do it together rather than individually. So I either use um, the serum that comes with the Virage system, but I do find, full disclosure, I do find that this will run out before the other products. So when this runs out, so one pump, okay, this is what I do. This is a new bottle and it's not open yet. Um, so I still got the layer on it, but one pump of the tone of the uh, serum, one pump of the moisturizer and about three drops of Yarrow Pom. So those three, to, I'll write all this out as well. I'm gonna do a post on it. So head to the post and you'll be able to, you don't need to be taking notes. Um, so one pump, one pump and about three drops. Rub that together in your hands and just pat that over your face and kind of press it into your face. Like you wanna press it into the crevices that you might have. You wanna make sure that you're getting it into like, you know, any lines that you have. And when you just rub over, it kind of doesn't go into the crevices. I say crevices in a good way. Um, so you want to just press it in. Okay. And then you can, if you've got a gross quartz roller or something like that, definitely use that. It is amazing. And at rose quartz, those rollers that you get, I've got one in my bathroom. I should have grabbed out, but if you've got a roller, then roll your, this, this three things all at once, um, and roll that over your face. And you want to be pressing outwards with a roller. So if you've got a roller, start from the inside, the, the, you know, the rose quartz rollers, start from the inside and press out. And it's like smoothing out your skin and just, you know, roll it across, roll it across, roll it across, and then do the other side um, and roll that moisturizer in. What happens is less gets soaked up by your hands, more goes into your face where you want it, and, you know, your skin will benefit from that. So, there, the, that's it. So it's super fast. Like I know that I've taken a little bit of time to tell you guys about it and that's not it. So don't go yet, but I've got a, a couple of things more to share, but that's, that's my system. Cleanse, either oil cleanse and then I double cleanse or just cleanse, depending on what I've done that day on my face. Definitely make sure you're toning and then mix these three together. And I, um, this, the moisturizer, the serum and Yarrow Pom. Mix those three together and apply that onto your face. Now, I said sometimes that I run out of this quicker than I do the other system, the Yarrow Pot, uh, the Virage system that it comes in. So what I use when I run out is I have a bottle of Salubel. Now it's exactly the same oils that's in the serum, minus the, I think this has got, and I can't read it because I'm old. This has got macadamia oil and a couple of other things in the serum. This is neat essential oils, like straight up essential oils. So what I do with this one is I just roll it into the palm of my hand here, and then I use still just one squirt of moisturizer and still about three drops of Yarrow Pom, and then I just rub those together and I pat that over my face. So that's what I do when I run out of the serum. So always have a backup bottle of Salubel in your uh, cupboard so that um, these two together, and then I'm sort of buying the system all in one hit, if that makes sense. All right, a couple of other things that I have that I do. I got this tiny little bottle of rose. Now you can buy rose in a normal size, a 10 ml bottle as well, but this came in the little um, Mother's Day pack and I find it the perfect size as an under eye roller. And this has lasted me a really long time. So if you've got this little sample pack that you got in the Mother's Day kit, 
grab out your rose and use it as an under eye serum. And then you can just pat that in as well um, under your eyes and use that as a little under eye serum. If you've got the full bottle of rose, the 10 ml size bottle of rose, you can definitely use that as well. Just bear in mind that this tiny little one um, only gives out a little bit. If you're using the full 10 ml size rose, you're going to be rolling on a lot more. So just to kind of do one roll, because that's probably all you'll need. So don't waste your rose. Um, but I, yeah, so if you've got the little this little one, then grab out your rose and you'll know how to use that. It's a perfect size. So the other things I do, now I mentioned don't forget your hands. Now, a lot of people forget about their hands when they're moisturizing. Um, so every single night, this actually sits next to my bedside table and it's in my top drawer. So every single night I squirt one pump into my hands. It's like it's hardly any, so it lasts a long time. And I use one drop of frankincense. And this goes, oops, the two drops came out, but that's okay. This is what I pop onto my hands every single night. And your hands get damaged, like they're harsh. You know, we treat our hands poorly, let's be real. You're washing up, you're probably grabbing something out of the garden, you're outside, you've, you know, you often forget to put sunscreen, or even if you do put sunscreen on your hands, you've probably washed it off in five minutes because you're washing your hands all the time. Our hands get treated poorly. So give, show your hands some love, really massage it into your cuticles, and you know, give your hands a beautiful, beautiful treatment every single night because your hands will age quicker than anything else on your body and you don't want that to happen. You can, and I don't know if you've ever heard, you can tell a person's age by their hands. That's, you know, you can because everyone forgets about their hands. So give your hands a treatment as well and um, use that every single night. So one drop of frankincense and one squirt of yarrow palm and that soaks in like that. There's hardly, you know, any residue left. So I'm happy to hop into bed. I'm not gonna be touching my doona cover and get anything greasy or, you know, wreck my doona cover that way. So I, I literally am sitting in bed when I do that. The other thing I do when I'm sitting in bed, and this is my newest little hack that I've got for you guys, is this is black spruce. Now this came in the convention kit just recently in Australia. So I've only been doing this for a couple of months. Like, so that was, what are we now? July, June. So that was in May was convention. And this is what I've been doing. So, and I've nearly used this bottle. So I do need to order a new bottle. Um, what I do is I sit in bed, I do my hands, I've done my facial routine, so I've still got my moisturizer kind of sitting on top of my face. It hasn't probably quite soaked in yet because I've just hopped into bed and I've just washed my face um, and done that routine that I shared before. Then what I do with black spruce is I get a little bit on my finger, like just a teeny little bit, and I literally pat it over. Now, I've got no makeup on today, um, and I literally pat it over where I've got pigmentation. What I learned via convention was that black spruce is amazing at um, sorting out our pigmentation because of the comp chemical compounds that it, it's made up from. Don't ask me all the names. I have a zero memory of scientific names. I cannot remember the compounds of essential oils. I'm hopeless at it. Um, but I do remember how they work. And so if you're a science fan and you wanna know the chemical compounds, then you're gonna to need to Google it because I am not your girl. Um, but if you wanna just trust the process, then grab some black spruce, pop that onto your pigmentation. Um, you could mix it in. So you know how I said before, I do one squirt, um, I do one squirt of moisturizer and I do three drops of yarrow pom. You could add a drop or two of black spruce and mix that all over and do your entire face. That would be totally fine and it's one less step to kind of do. Um, or you could, as this bottle starts to get a little empty, I don't, I don't think you can fill these bottles up, but you could make up a serum all of your own and um, use that as well using black spruce. But that's what I do. I also do across my top lip and I've got pigmentation down here. Now my pigmentation used to be, like there's no way I would have not ever worn makeup and done a Facebook Live. Like I just, it would not have sat well with me at all. So um, the fact that I'm doing this shows that I'm, you know, fairly confident in my skin. Although, I, like I said, the lighting is terrible. Let me flick another light on. Um, 
but it's uh, like I had really deep black pigmentation across here and right like just on both edges here and a little bit here and that was from once I had my kids so it's been you know hanging around for a long time because my kids are 20 and 17 um, but it's you know it has faded and it's faded it never it hadn't for a long time like I said I wore makeup over the top of it all the time but since I've been using these for the last couple of years, it's not an overnight process. It's not going to happen. Not a Pantene commercial, um, but it's not an overnight process. But give it a give it a while, and you know, a good six months or, or or so, and I started noticing a massive difference. And in the last kind of year, I mean, it's pretty much gone. I don't even know that there's really any there. I say that's a scar. Um, so ignore that, but there's hardly any pigmentation there at all. So give it a good little while. Um, add in some, like I said, that you don't want to miss out on the supplements. These will a game changer for your skin and your overall health of your body, which is what we want. The other thing you want to be doing is drinking lots and lots of filtered water. You need to be flushing your body of toxins as much as possible. So the more that you can flush out, the better. So lots of filtered water, and I'm really bad at that. I need to drink more filtered water. I drink more cups of tea in winter than I probably should. Um, so don't, you know, and I don't drink coffee. Um, I'm not saying you need to stop, but I personally, I don't like the taste. I never have. I've never drunk coffee, and I don't drink alcohol. So I do know that they're both incredibly drying and damaging to your skin as well. So maybe if you are a big, big, big coffee drinker, maybe cut back a little. Um, and if you are an alcohol drinker that drinks, you know, a couple of times or nightly, maybe cut back a little. I, uh, I do know that a heap of you just dropped off then when I said that. I do know that alcohol and, uh, and coffee are very, very drying and damaging to your skin. So if you can cut back on that, I, I suggest doing that if you want to improve your skin. But, you know, this system that I've just shared, I'll write it up into a blog post, like I said, so you guys can have a look and read through it. Makeup brand that I wear is Adorn. You will have seen us share that a million times over as well. Um, and I use Adorn and I choose to use Adorn because it is great on our skin as well. So the, the foundation that I wear has a sunscreen in it. So I wear sunscreen every day because of the foundation that I'm wearing. And so make sure you're doing that, especially if you're in a harsher climate um, than Tassie. You want to be wearing sunscreen, and I'm always really fussy with sunscreen on my face. Um, the sunscreen I choose to use is 123 Nourish Me. Makeup that I choose to use is Adorn, uh, and I choose to use Adorn because it is completely natural. There are no synthetic products in it at all. So I know that Adorn is treating my skin right. And even though I've got makeup on, it's still breathing. It's still treating my skin nice and kind. It's not sitting there with petroleum-based products on it all day. And a lot of makeup has petroleum-based products in it and a lot of synthetic ingredients in it. So if you're not choosing a really great quality makeup brand, and I'm talking like, you know, a, a natural brand, um, have a look at switching that out as well and have a look at Adorn. Their prices are super reasonable. This is not sponsored. We don't get anything from Adorn. Um, it's just that we love their brand and we love their product because of the way that they do their skin, their skincare. Uh, Fill of water, eat well, organic as possible, eat additive free, live as additive free as possible. Obviously, you know, that's a no brainer um, for us. So that's part of my routine, I guess, that I always probably forget to mention, but it is an important part of the routine because it is something that has changed my overall health. And when my overall health changed, my skin changed as well. So that's a win-win. I think I've remembered everything. I'll write it up into a blog post for you guys and I'll share it out soon. And um, hopefully that was helpful. If you wanna grab doTERRA, obviously everything I shared here was from doTERRA because that's what we use. So if, you, if you're you you know sitting there thinking, okay, yep, I wanna change my skincare now. I'm, I'm kind of happy with what she said. Send us a message and we can hook you up with some um, doTERRA products to get you started. And, uh, and you know, if you already got doTERRA and you're not taking these, you should be. Um, they're incredible. Um, and if you already got doTERRA and you go, where did she get this big bottle from again of Yarrow Pom? It's from your US back office. So you'll need to order that from America. Otherwise, the rest you can get in Australia and we can hook you up with that if you want an account all of your own. It's super easy. Um, so let us know and that's it for me. Bye.